Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. This is 100 Days of Halloween, day 95, I think. 95 days until Halloween. I accidentally missed yesterday. And again, I had 100% intentions to um, record. I just, again, never got the chance. When Devin got off work, we ended up having to run a couple of errands and then we went Pokemoning. <laughs> and then when we got home, I was cutting fabric and Devin was cooking with Jesse. Uh, fried green tomatoes and time just flew by before I knew it was bedtime and I hadn't done anything I did watch my movie yesterday, but I'll talk about that later Because I still gotta watch today's movie. I'm gonna talk about both of them at the same time But and I haven't crocheted on my blanket. I didn't do that yesterday or today yet, but it's still morning <laughs> So I'm gonna sit down and add two colors today since I missed yesterday But I did work on some other things yesterday and I wanted to hop on here and share with you because they're Halloween -y And I thought it'd be fun. So uh, Every month since January I've been making three amigurumis for trick-or-treaters so that I would have 30 <laughs> by October to leave out you know because we're, we're gonna be gone on Halloween with our own kids but uh, we always leave out candy and stuff so this year I wanted to leave out amigurumis and there's only so many kids around here and I'm sure they'll all get taken but I don't care if they take multiple ones <laughs> but this month I picked um, candy corn so I thought that'd be cute and I love the colors of candy corns so I found this pattern on Ravelry but it was from Lion brand so I'll leave a link to below but it's just a cute little candy corn they're not 100% done I haven't stuffed them yet but the crochet is done so I made all three of them all at the same time like co-currently I did all the white and then I cut you know the yarn and then I did all the orange and then I did all the yellow just to kind of get them all done assembly style and what you do is you as you cut off you leave a tail and those are just knotted in there and stuffed in there <laughs> then you stuff it a little bit and then you just sew the bottom clothes and it's kind of like a plushy uh, I thought about putting faces on these, but I, I don't think I will. I think I'll just leave them faceless. <laughs> but I think they're cute. They're pretty good size, and they worked out super quick. I used a G-hook, which was a 4 millimeter, and uh, it's a free pattern from Lime Brand. Like I said, I'll link it below. But And this is all just Red Heart yarn. It is white, pumpkin, and bright yellow. And this is actually the bright yellow from Elsmeralda from our swap. She, she gave me a scrap bowl of that. I have a bunch of it, but it was already set over here on the table, so I just grabbed it. So I used up some of that, but I still got a lot to go. I think it'd be cute to make a little candy corn dress for Dune. <laughs> I thought about trying to do that, but I don't know if I can. But it's so cute, so I'll leave that link below. And then I also started another pattern. Now I can't remember who this pattern's by, but I will pop it up and it also be linked below. But it is a spider web. I think she calls it a scarf. No, not a scarf. What's it called? Oh my god. Shawl. <laughs> and uh, you like, I got it. It's about not even halfway done yet but there it is so far this is a red heart um soft top but you wear it like that and then you when it's bigger you pin it like over here so that it stays to you but you kind of put that right there and then you put like a spider there <laughs> that's my plan i thought i would make this and wear it in some halloween videos but also maybe wear when i take the kids trick-or-treating because we don't usually get our costumes anymore we used to but um you know money and stuff it's better just spend it on the kids but i like to do something for halloween so i thought i might do that and then I might make some kind of like headband or something sometimes it's cold here on Halloween sometimes it's not when you're snowed <laughs> on me and the girls babysitting that I took trick-or-treating because Jesse was sick that year I think that was 2018 uh, he was real little and he got sick but um, yeah I just thought it was cool this is actually the wrong side but it doesn't matter but anyways it's basically a shawl that is a spider web so you I'm having a hard time <laughs> It has that cut out there so you can put it around your head <laughs> but i like so much so far this is supposed to be red heart soft white but it's like one of the ones that's different color than the original soft white and it's thicker but i like it so i think it's good enough and i'm using an h hook on it which is a five millimeter and i will link it down below because i can't remember what the designer's name is <laughs> but it was a free pattern and uh i like it a lot it's pretty easy it's a lot of chaining <laughs> ma'am you want to throw them in the floor Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and I'll put in clips of the talking about the movies and the blankets. <laughs> but I gotta go because she's climbing and knocking stuff over. Okay, so it's later in the day. I added some green yarn. Spring green. This is technically yesterday's color. I added a good little hunk of it from there to the corner and then down a little bit. And then I haven't added today's color yet, technically. I picked this purple color. Oh, that's a nice color. It is Red Heart Super Saver Dark Orchid. So I'm going to add that here in a little bit. Um, onto my blanket. It's slowly getting bigger. <laughs> but I want to talk about the movies real quick. June's napping, so I'm talking a little bit quieter because she's asleep in the living room. 
but uh so yesterday i watched the silence and it's on netflix it was a really good movie if you've seen a quiet place it's very similar to that actually it's almost weirdly similar and i actually looked it up and while they were making a quiet place one this movie came out i think so technically like they were being made at the same time so they didn't like copy each other but they are connected because in the silence has stanley tucci in it which i love i love stanley tucci um he's beautiful <laughs> but anyways um he is married to emily blunt from a quiet place his sister <laughs> so that's his sister-in-law but anyways the movies are very similar uh in this one there's like these people in a cave and they dig through a wall and they release these bat like creatures that's been in there for like ever uh and they're blind because they're bats but they can hear so that's how they're like hunting and killing people and they're basically just released all over the place and killing everybody um so stanley tushi's character and his family it's his wife his daughter his son and his wife's mom <laughs> and his best friend um you know are trying to get out of the city because it's so loud in the city to out in like the country where it's quieter um people die it's sad <laughs> but um it ends pretty good the daughter's death too by the way and she's the girl off of the new sabrina show that i think is it's also on netflix yeah uh and actually her mom is one of her aunts on that show too <laughs> it's funny but anyways and uh i thought it was a pretty good movie i didn't like that you know she's supposed to be death but she definitely doesn't sound like a death person which i guess is you know it's you know people sound different but she's like in the quiet place there's actually a death actress playing as the death daughter um so it's more believable <laughs> but uh in this you know i already knew that she wasn't death in her life so and she just talks normal and she reads the lips so i don't know but it, it helps them because they can do sign language so they um they're able to you know keep quiet <laughs> but it is sad there's some sad parts to it and then there's like a it ends kind of in like a negative positive way like it ends with you know like they don't beat the creatures they're still there but they like adapt to it you know but it was a pretty good movie overall i liked it so i gave it five jack leonards <laughs> out of five i liked it a lot um and it helped that stanley was in it because he's I love, i've always loved stanley and then today the movie i watched i was actually i worked on this while i was watching that it was called cargo and it's also on netflix it is the first Australian Netflix original movie, and it was really good. It came out, I think, um, 2020, 2020, I think it was 2020, and it's got, the main character in it is the guy who plays as Bilbo on the Hobbit movies. I don't know any of these people's actual names. I just know their characters, <laughs> but um, I think his name is Martin or something like that, but uh it was really good. It is kind of a zombie movie. They're kind of zombies, but they're also kind of different than zombies. Um, and it's in Australia. So it's like a big, you know, vast, like, deserty, empty, like, place, you know. Uh, and it starts with him, his wife, and their little baby. I think she's 10 months old is what it says. Um, they're on, like, a boat. And they're trying to get to, like, the safe place. that There's, like, maps being dropped, I guess, from airplanes and stuff. Uh, it is kind of a choppy movie. I didn't know it It was a good movie, I thought, but it's kind of choppy. Like, it, it felt like there was parts missing that, you know, should have been there. Um, but basically, I don't want to give anything away in case you want to watch it, but it wasn't super gory. There were some, like, gore-ish, you know, bloody spots, but it wasn't, like, Freddy Krueger gore. Um, but he basically, he gets his, well, I don't want to give it away, but he ends up having to find, try to find someone who can take care of his daughter for him because he can't do it himself. Um, and then he ends up getting this other little girl that's like 11 ish, <laughs> and she ends up helping him. And it's really sad. I actually cried on the end of it. <laughs> like, it ends, it's like, kind of like the other movie, it ends happy but also sad. Um, and I actually like literally cried watching it, and I haven't done that in a while for a movie <laughs> that wasn't like a meant to be sad movie, you know, like you already knew it was gonna be sad going into it. I didn't think that I would cry on this movie, but I did. But I liked it a lot too. Uh, there's a lot of pretty good reviews for it too, but there's also some. A it was apparently uh, based off of a short that is on YouTube that you can watch by the same name, which I might go watch it. <laughs> I have not done that, but uh, a lot of people like the short better. But I thought the movie was really good, but I also haven't watched the short, so I don't know. <laughs> but it ended pretty good, but also sad. But you, you kind of, 
after a moment of watching the movie, you can kind of predict the ending. But um, all in all, it ended pretty good, I think. And also, there was there's like native uh, tribes. I don't know if that's the right word. That are like eradicating all the zombies. <laughs> They're going out and killing all the zombies to get rid of them all. And that's actually the girl that he befriends and takes along with him. She's a member of one of those tribes. But it was pretty good. I liked it too. So I'll give it also five Jack Leonards out of five. <laughs> so both the movies I watched yesterday and today were really good. So now that I'm thinking about it, I want to go back and watch that short. I'm going to try to find it on YouTube and watch it because I want to see, you know, what it was based, you know, maybe if it shed, says things that the other one doesn't. Because like there's parts of the movie where the people who are zombie, but not quite zombies yet, like they're getting ready to turn, they bury their heads in the ground, which I thought was weird. And I was like, why did they do that? Because it never like says why they do that. But, um, so I was just curious to why they did that. And I wonder if the short says that. <laughs> but anyways, so I'm going to go in there while June's still napping. I'm going to work on my blanket some more. And maybe watch that short. And I don't know what else I want to do. i got to take pictures of my bag still for to put them up tomorrow. But I might do that tomorrow morning. <laughs> so I don't have to do it right now. And also got to get the last bag that's in my shop already sold earlier. So i got to package it up and drop it off tomorrow. And yeah, I don't know what else I'm going to do. I also pulled out a little ghost amigurumi pattern that I want to make. <laughs> I've made it before. It's it's from um, Michelle from Pixie Marie Crates, which I miss her. She used to make videos and she doesn't anymore. But um, it's her little ghost pattern. I can't remember what it's called, <laughs> but it's cute. And I've made it before and I want to make it again. But anyways, I'm, I'm going to go sit down for a little while before she wakes up. So I will probably end this video here. So it is 95 days until Halloween. <laughs> And I already did my movies, I showed my blanket, I think it's everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.